Hello everybody, I am so excited to share with you the sweep command of Katia V5. This video has been extracted from my full Katia V5 course. If you are interested to dive into the full course, please click the below link in the description. There is a huge discount if you enroll from the below link. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to get more videos related to Katia V5. In this lecture, we'll go through next command, which is adaptive sweep. Adaptive sweep is one of the most important command in surface design and extensively used in automotive industry. Let's go to Katia and explore this command. So the adaptive sweep command is exist in this workbench sweeps. So the second one is adaptive sweep. If we click on it, we can see that we need a guide curve, spine, reference surface and sketch. So let's create a guiding curve and a sketch. Let's create the guide curve in this plane. So let's go to sketcher. So let's click on spline. Let's say this is our guide curve. Let's keep the dimension from this point to this line, let's say 10 millimeter. And from here to here, let's say 40. And the length, let's say from here to here, let's keep this distance. 200 or maybe 150 let's say let's come out now we need to create a sketch so we'll create a plane at this location which is normal to the curve let's say okay now let's create a sketch in this plane. So we'll go to the second option, which is position sketch, select on it and select this plane. Now the positioning is coming here, but we need this positioning at this location to create the sketch so that our adaptive sweep function work. How we can do it? We can change the origin type to projection point and select this point. And let's say, okay, fit in all. Now let's create the sketch. Let's keep the dimension. Let's say 35 millimeter and let's come out. Now we have created a guide curve and a sketch. Now let's go to the adaptive sweep command So our guide curve is this. Once we select the guide curve, spine also selected automatically and reference surface. So we need to select the sketch only. Let's say this is our sketch. Now if we say preview, so a surface has been created with the help of this guide curve and this sketch. Now we can explore this option. So this is the section, this is our section and it's parents if some relation is there then it's a parameter that how much is the radius we have provided 35 so it's half of it is the radius and relimitation now let's click on section so the advantage of adaptive sweep though we have created adaptive sweep with only one sketch but we can modify the cross section across the guide curve how we can do it. So let's create a new section in this location. How we can create? So if you come to the point one and right click, create a point. So for example, at this location, we want to create point, let's say at 80 millimeter. If you say preview and okay. So the point has been selected. Now, interesting part is we can modify this cross section through this window. So if we select the section and if we go to the parameter, 
now if we change this one to 30 if you see preview now the surface has been created between this cross section and this cross section and the this radius has been considered as 30 and another interesting thing if we go to relimitation relimited on start section relimited on end section if we remove this and if we say preview so our surface is continuing until the guide curve ends but let's say we click on this two point and preview and come to the again to the section location and let's create another point create another point and let's say at 40 millimeter preview and okay and if we go to again to parameter we can change this so normally whenever we create a point and the section it will take the original section and we can change it later now let's say 25 or maybe 50 if we say preview a surface has been generated if we say 25 let's see so like this way so we have added two additional cross section based on our original section so this way we can we can work with the adaptive sweep so we have created this surface with initial cross section and two additional cross section we have added later this is the power of adaptive sweep command and in automotive industry this adaptive sweep commands use very frequently so this is one of the most important command from surface design let's say okay so this is our adaptive sweep command thank you